Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome to another Final Fantasy Brave Access video. We've got Leftia Warrior's Prayer and also Popeye, Pop Popeye, Poppy Warrior's Prayer. So, I might be surprised to see Leftia. Yeah, this is a new version. Not like the old version. Okay, so the step up is as usual. And there's no buffs for any of them, which is a little surprising. <laughs> Uh, that they didn't give them at least some buffs of some kind. Um, this Moogle Mass is decent for mages though because of the high HP for mages. But Poppy's S Tamer is really only good for her. I mean, maybe there would be other mages that would like to have this, but I think really only for her. And for the new Leftia, yeah, she's basically like an earth, earth unit of some kind. And her throwing weapon is two hands, so this is very good for Tiana. For anyone who's coping for Tiana still, this is a very good S tumor. This is the S tumor I was talking about a long time ago when I was like, oh there's a two handed there's a two handed uh, throwing weapon for Tiana eventually. Well this is the this is it. So there's a small bit of bait for people who have Tiana and kill, still use Tiana. Anyways, it's very funny. That the ring lasts well and not rain, who's actually kind of better. Even though, know, I mean, neither of them are really that amazing. Um, so last wall is basically, if you want a quick review, last wall, this last wall is basically the same as the knee vision, the first knee vision last wall, except with a little bit of a difference here and there, but nothing too big of a difference. So it's pretty funny. I mean, you could, you should see, like, even if you're like a semi new player, you see the stuff up in there. And you go check out the other one, and then you look at this one. Oh, why, why are they doing all these things for this guy? Look, you get 150 shards, and you get the unit at the very end. I wonder why they're doing that. Hmm. It couldn't be because he's not very good. Nah, they wouldn't do that. They, they're just being very generous. <laughs> they're just being very generous, guys. No. So, yeah, that step up was way too good to be true. I would just stay away, guys, on that one. Anyways... We have Chronicle Battle Shura Fell Spirit. And you can get some stuff in here. I definitely would recommend the Moogle Calif Calligraphy for the Reaper Killer. There's also a 60 Magic, that's not too bad. And 50% Magic TDH, that's not too bad. Um, has some resistances on it, kind of whatever. And we have 50% TDH and also 50% Human Killer on this 190 attack katana. And it's two-handed. Okay, you definitely should be getting this. <laughs> definitely work on trying to get the celebratory blade for sure. That's that's pretty good. That's a pretty good weapon for new players and what the and the, and the like. All right, we have Gloomwing here. I should. This one's not that hard. You should be able to beat this one pretty easily on global at this point. Um, the one to look out for is the Reflasia. Reflasia is actually going to be pretty hard. Um, I would say it's a little bit harder than Death Machine because uh, Reflasia basically heals itself after a certain threshold. I think it was 50%, I believe. After, after you get it down to 50%, it starts healing itself. And it's, I think it's 8%. That's pretty good. So if you can't deal enough damage, it's going to start healing itself. And remember, there's a time limit. Not time, like a turn limit if you want to get all missions. So it's pretty difficult, especially with the high resistances that it has. I'm sure people on Global will still figure out a way to win because that's kind of what we do on Global, right? We just figure out stuff how, how to win. Um, but yeah, this one is not hard at all. This one this one will probably be taken out uh, pretty, pretty quickly. And we have Poppy's... Vision card here, not very good, but it's not premium, so you can't really expect much out of it. Um, so, I mean, at least it's 300, 300 magic for FFB units. So if you got our DX1, you'd be able to get at least 300 magic, so that's like half of what Dark Reigns is, but it's still good. And sure, a 3 star is coming, guys. I know a lot of people ask for it. Th sure, a 3 star is coming. She is quite good. Um, she has killers on there. Um, so there's some killers on, on Ashura 3 star, so I'd recommend doing that. And it's very similar to Bahamut, where you don't actually have to fight her to, to get her. You can just 
uh, not doing any damage to her for, for a few turns and stuff like that, I believe. But it's been a while since I locked her on the JP version, so. And finally, the exchange shop, I like to leave this at the very end here. So if you will pull, although I would recommend not doing so. Uh, if you were really interested in them, waiting for my review, but... They got fragments in here, so don't look at anything other than the ones that, that I highlighted because like all this other things in here you can get with, I mean, really these two? No. Uh, but the top one, Sakura's Robe, is very old. I'm, I wouldn't be surprised if at least some people in this, in this uh, that are watching right now don't have Sakura's Robe at this point. I mean, it's very old. It's still decent. It has 50% lightning resistance on it. That's mostly what it's being used for nowadays. It also has some LB fill on it. That's not too bad. And it's still a decent magic. So, what do you guys think? I think that they should have gotten buffed. At least Lefty should have. And also La Lastwell should definitely have gotten buffed. Because he is... Uh, I don't know what they were thinking when they made him. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Appreciate you. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace.